We are delighted to have with us our keynote speaker for the evening, Dr. Sujata Narayan, Senior Vice President and Regional Leader for Vaptec Corporation in India. In her close to four years as Managing Director of Transit Business in India, she has led the company through a period of unprecedented profitable growth. Dr. Sujata and her leadership team was awarded the Move and Improve the World Team of the Year Leadership Award at the Vaptec Global Strategy Summit for performance in 2021. In January 21, Dr. Sujata was also featured amongst the icons of India Inc. The Star List 2021 and was recognized among the top 50 CXOs in the Indian manufacturing industry. In 2019, she was conferred the prestigious honor for Rail Analysis Woman of the Year and was recognized as Women Leader in Manufacturing by the Times Group. Dr. Sujata holds a master's and PhD in Polymer Science and Engineering from the Georgia Institute of Technology, USA, and a BTEC degree from the Indian Institute of Technology, Delhi. Please welcome Dr. Sujata. Thank you so much. I'd like to start by talking about the story of Bhargavi. Bhargavi is the niece of the cleaning lady that works at my place. She hails from a small town in the Nellur district in Andhra Pradesh. With a lot of effort, passion, tremendous amount of hard work and support from her family, she managed to get a BTEC degree in engineering. Again, with a dose of luck, tremendous amount of hard work and the blessings and help of a lot of people. She managed to get a job at EMC. She worked hard at EMC. She worked on her English, her soft skills, as well as her technical skills and grew in that company. She then married a similar a person with a similar history who worked for IBM. And only last year, she had a baby boy and they live in a beautiful apartment in Bangalore and thriving as a family. Education saved her and education saved her family. Good evening. I wanna thank FFE, the entire organization and especially Sudha for inviting me to be able to address every one of you. From the leadership of FFE to the entire support staff, the alumni and all the students who are on the call today. I have to admit that I am really honored and thrilled to be a part of this event today and to be able to address each and every one of you. We've been hearing about FFE and I have been peripherally associated with FFE over the last three years. And I am just simply wowed. Providing 10,227 scholarships in one financial year and more than 80,000 scholarships students over the last 27 years. That's an incredible achievement. We see a history of this company that truly wants to help bright underprivileged students. And I believe this is part of our nation building. Wabtech Corporation that I represent here today is grateful. We are grateful that we have the opportunity to create the next generation of engineers for India. I'm not sure how many of you are aware that India produces some of the largest number of engineers in the world. The last statistics that I saw, India produces more engineers in a year compared to US and Europe put together. Now engineers in India are not just doing some of the back end support work that was true a couple of decades ago, but they are in the cutting edge of technology in terms of part, being part of startups and development in artificial intelligence, artificial reality, data analytics, et cetera. We are truly proud of the engineering community that we are building. And each and every one of you students as a part of the FFE ecosystem are part of this great story of engineering strength in India. A very quick blurb about Waptech, because I do believe that Waptech as a corporation is an engineer's dream, especially a dream for mechanical and electrical engineers. Waptech as a company is a leading railway technology company in the world, a Fortune 500 company, about $8 billion in revenue. 
In India, we're about half a billion dollars and we serve both the Indian railways as well as the metros. We build full locomotives. We also build sub assemblies for locomotives as well as for all kinds of passenger trains as well as wagons that haul goods. We employ more than 2,500 employees in India and we have one of the largest engineering centers in the WAPTEC world located in Bangalore with close to 1,500 engineers. We're very proud that our Indian engineers are actually developing not only locomotives for India, but for all international locomotives that WAPTEC sells. We're developing state-of-the-art digital technologies for this railway business, and we also support the entire WAPTEC world with our IT organization. So I would encourage all the scholarship recipients of um, the engineering scholarship recipients of FFP to reach out to us for internship opportunities as well as jobs when you graduate. As I was preparing for this talk, I was spending some time on the internet. And I found a lot of interesting quotes that I'd like to share with you. Aristotle way back when said, education is an ornament in prosperity and a refuge in diversity. For many of you who have faced diversity through your childhood and through your families, I am sure you can identify with that. Malcolm X said, education is the passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. I think you're very much part of this thought process. Nelson Mandela said, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And I hope that each and every one of you are part of changing the world for the future. And finally, Albert Einstein said, the value of a college education is not the learning of many facts, but the training of the mind to think. I can share categorically that education is the single thing that made me what I am today. My parents, came from a lower middle class family. They didn't have that much money, but they got themselves educated. My father got a PhD in chemistry from the University of Mumbai and my mother a master's in chemistry from Chennai. Growing up, my father was a professor, but as you live in a family of educators, my father was a professor, my mother a housewife, you were very wealthy from an intellectual perspective, but not from a monetary perspective. The focus of my childhood and my school life was education. I remember that I, while during school, I had a lot of extracurricular activities, but in my 11th and 12th grades, I stopped everything that I did and focused on getting into IIT. I worked really hard during my IIT days, focusing on my education, then went on to do my master's and my PhD. And after that, and I'm not going to go through my entire history, but I can clearly tell you that education saved me and it built me to what I am today. I share my story to emphasize on the value of education to each and every one of you. And I'm sure you know that already. What FFE is providing to you is the most valuable gift you can ever get, which is education. You got here with hard work, dedication, and passion. Make the best of it. Don't get distracted by anything. Don't listen to people who say, hey, you have to have fun every day and have a balanced life. Put your blinders on. Focus on learning, and not just for exams and grades. Develop the soft skills that FFE is providing you that they've been talking about just now. Build your professional network like we just heard about. Learn from everywhere you can. And doing well in your undergraduate studies is the best gift that you can give yourself. With that, I want to close by wishing you all the very best, very best and thanking you for this fantastic opportunity for me to be speaking today, as well as for VapTech to be part of this fantastic journey that FFE has brought to the country. <music>